Hi, this is Mike Maslanka. Firing an employee is a little bit like falling in love. You just know when it's right. So let me tell you the tale of the misbehaving employee. Our lead actor is a four-month employee who concludes that sex discrimination is afoot at his employer and files a charge of discrimination with the EEOC. He and his employer agree to participate in the EEOC mediation program. At the EEOC, they each have their own caucus rooms. The mediator shuffles back and forth, seeking peace. But he didn't find peace. Instead, he found war. The employee believed the company's first offer was insulting, and this was one guy who was not going to be dissed. So he storms into the employer's caucus room and bellows, you can take your proposal and shove it up your... And, and then he said a bad word, and he went on to say, and fire me, and I'll sue you in court. A shaken but alert employer makes a smart move. It settles the EOC charge, and then it fires him. I bet that felt good. As promised, the now ex-employee sues for retaliation. Say what? His formula was simple. The law prohibits retaliation for participating in a Title VII proceeding. The mediation was an EEOC proceeding under Title VII. My firing was thus a violation of the law. I win. Give me my do re mi. Isn't that obvious? The court says no and tosses the lawsuit. And the appeals court says it was right to do so, pointedly noting that the law does not create a privilege to misbehave in court, and it does not create a privilege to misbehave in mediation. Lessons? Look, people never change. They only reveal themselves. And when it turns out to be a not-so-good revelation, take the window of opportunity they give you and fire them. No write-ups, no three strikes and you're out, no performance improvement plan. Just do it. You'll be glad you did. This is Mike Maslanka at your desk.